Hey guys, welcome back real fam. Welcome to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. You're a loyal one. I have a little bit of story time for you guys. So. This is a little painful to talk about, but it's kind of important. So, I'm just going to do it. So, I actually fell for a married woman. And by fell, I mean, I feel like I had more than a crush on her. I feel like I was actually really in love with her and the feeling was mutual surprisingly it was for once I know if you follow me on Instagram you've probably heard me talk and post memes about me wanting a woman to fall in love with me guess what it happened I think So I fell for a married woman accidentally. I met her on Facebook through a poly group. We were friends at first, talking about our poly experiences. We had very similar poly experiences. We had both, um, you know, of course, we were both married to men. Um, she, her, and her husband had dated one woman before, just like me and my husband have dated one woman before for a couple of months, and same with her. Our experiences were very, very, very similar. So similar, it was scary. We have a lot in common. We talk about our families. You know, she had three kids. I have five. And we just overall had a lot in common. The more we talked, it was like we kind of acted alike. And we did a lot of things alike. Now, it was all good at first, you know. I guess I kind of felt this coming because in the beginning we both told each other. You know, don't be falling for me now because, you know, I'm married and, you know, we can't really get together because we're both married. And I don't know how it's going to work. It's like we kind of knew from the get-go. We told each other that. And I did my best to guard my feelings on that. But a lot of times you can't help who your heart goes for. And shit just happens. So it happened accidentally. We accidentally fell hard for one another. Now, I don't know if it was just an infatuation or what, but we fell really hard. And like I said, the feeling was actually mutual. Like she was actually showing she cared. She was, you know, talking every day non-stop, texting every day non-stop. You know, we would come on and call each other. We were starting to do video chats more, stuff like that. You know, stuff that I'd never experienced because, you know, I don't have friends like that. Remember, I don't have friends. You know? So I was like, oh wow, this is amazing. Um, for the first time I'm getting all this attention from a woman. I'm actually getting female attention. This is what I desire, it's not a woman. So, a month goes by, it's like, okay, we're cool, we're still friends. But at some point, we start getting closer and closer, and we start crushing, well, we didn't crushing. <laughs> Obviously, we were both, like, completely smitten with one another. But it started becoming more than just a crush. Like, we started developing feelings, stronger feelings, and we both never couldn't work. We knew we couldn't actually be together. But then we started trying to make it work anyway. Y'all, if you've ever been in this situation or any anything similar to this, don't pursue the situation if you know it's not good for you. Just don't. Obviously, this is a married woman. I never expected to have feelings for a married woman in that way. I never expected that and I'm sure she didn't either. I'm sure she never expected to fall for me and we should it. And like I said, we talked about it prior to getting this deep, prior to anything even getting this deep. And then when it did get this deep, we were both like surprised and like, oh my god, I can't live without you. We gotta find some way, you know, we gotta convince our husbands to let us be together. Y'all, that shit didn't work, of course. We tried. My husband especially was like, uh, no, she's married. That's gonna cause too much chaos. How the fuck is that gonna work? Y'all in two different states. Uh, yeah, she's only one state away from me, like literally the next state away, but even so, it's like, this shit can't work. And my husband was literally telling me, it can't work. But in my own delusions, I kept trying to convince him. Weeks went by, 
weeks and weeks, days and days, and be talking about her, you know, talking to her all the time, um, talking about her throughout the house. You know, he was getting tired of hearing about her because it was like, okay, why don't you shut up? You can't be with her. Why are you even attempting to be with her? And, um, it just turned into a crazy situation that was beginning to turn my marriage upside down because I let this situation infiltrate my mind and infiltrate the, you know, what was going on. I, I really let this situation infiltrate my marriage to where I was literally trying to go over what my, what my husband was saying, even though I knew he was right. I knew I couldn't be with this woman. I was just being desperate anyway. I'm like, I've never had this type of attention from a woman. I never had a woman actually want to be with me like that, and I feel like, you know, she wasn't bullshit. I never had this happen. So I was just... Hmm? So I was really, really happy. I was really just... Just hoping for it. But like I said, the, the more I tried to pursue it, the worse it got. Hmm? Hmm? people walking around in their papers right now. <sighs> anyway, the more I tried to pursue this, the worse my marriage got. The worse things were getting for me. I started becoming emotionally unstable. I started trying to rewire things in my head because, you know, I started thinking, you know, maybe I should go live with her and, you know, she also had money, which didn't help. Even though I don't really pursue people for money, but what didn't, you know, what didn't help was that, you know, she had money. Her and her husband had a lot of money. And I was like, maybe I should just go live with her, I should take the kids down there, it's a new environment, new life. I was just completely like overlooking everything, like, no, this is not the right way to go. Me and my husband are fighting these every day, y'all, it was a fucking mess. It just recently happened. It was a fucking mess, me falling for a married woman. And... I just... I had to go through a serious period of reflection, of like, why is this happening? I need to stop. On her end, apparently her husband was going to let her date me because they're poly and they were just going to date separately. And I was just going to date her and let her be done with it. But my husband and I, as you know, we agreed to find a triad together. We want to date someone together because dating separate is pointless. It's pointless for me to have a girlfriend and then he goes out and find a girlfriend because what kind of marriage is that? You know, we're not going to come back together and interact at all. Dating separately was never originally our plan. I technically don't want that shit, you know. But, um, yeah, it was just causing mess, you know, like severe mess. So, I remember me and her would play this little thing like we're gonna cut each other off. Like, okay, if I can't be with you, I'm gonna cut you off. And she initiated that because she was like, oh, well, I'm so in love with you, I can't bear to let you go, I can't just be friends with you. And I thought that was kind of ridiculous because I'm like, well, what do you mean you can't be friends with me? We can still kind of be friends, you know, it's gonna be hard, but we're not in each other's faces. We can still be friends, we can still interact and not have sex with each other. And of course it's really bad because I've never had sex with a woman and neither had she. But that was also making it like, oh my god, she had never been with a woman either. So it was, it was kind of like a, it seemed like it was destined, but y'all, it wasn't. So after a while of us not actually cutting each other off like we said we would, or as she said she would, just recently, she finally cut me off. Now, I was pretty hurt from that because, again, y'all know I don't have friends. I was deeply hurt because she cut me off for the same reason that most people cut others off. Because they won't have sex with them. Because I can't be with you intimately, I'm not going to be your friend. Does that even sound right at all? And you know the situation, like you know we're both married and it's like, I'm sorry I led you on, but we led each other on and led each other into believing that we'd be together. Even though I told her multiple times my husband does not agree, I'm not going to just walk away from him. We can't continue to be together and we still have a marriage because I'm going to end up divorced and I'm losing out and he's losing out just because I want to be with you. And it's like, I don't want to be with your husband either, so it's like, what? Y'all, it, it just would cause so much mess, and I knew that. Deep down, I knew that, but my mind was plaguing me so bad. I let my mind... I let my mind fuck me so bad during that situation. Like I said, my marriage was chaotic for a good minute. For I'd say the whole duration was about two months, but 
I'm gonna say a month because we were only talking for two months. And um I'm gonna say the second month was the most chaotic. It was the first month <clears throat> we weren't really serious about being romantic at all. We were just kinda teetering around it until we just kinda got there. But yeah, the second month was what was chaotic. It was just a mess. And like I said, I I wasn't being logical with the situation. I was overrunning what my husband wanted. I was overrunning what he said not intentionally. I was very emotional. I was crying over it. He was crying over it. He was telling me, I don't want to leave you. I don't want to break our marriage over this. It's not worth it. She's married. How the hell is that going to work? I'm going to lose out. What's going to go on with the kids? What's going to go on with everything? Like, come on. Wake up. So like I said, when I knew all this, I knew it wasn't a good idea for me, but in my desperation of being with a woman and having a woman say she loves me and cares about me sexually, that was getting to me. And to this day, I'm not really sure if she did that on purpose. I'm not sure if she was using me on purpose to get what she wanted, just to be selfish, or was she just preying on the fact that she knew I was vulnerable and lonely? probably both who knows I don't know if she was preying on that for her own selfish gain even though she knew we couldn't be together she was still willing to try it anyway I don't know but eventually y'all I got fed up I was tired of fighting with my husband every day eventually I just got fed up I got fed up and that one morning I told her we can't be together I need to stop thinking about you like that I need to literally stop flirting with you I need to stop to stop and it's, again she says with the okay well I can't be friends with you Okay. So at that point, I just put dot, 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 okay, and that's the last word I said to her. And literally, she didn't text me after that. So, yo, I was hurt. I was just hurt for that one day, and maybe like the day after. But, um, yo, again, I've lost so many people. It doesn't even phase me the way I thought it would phase me. You know, like, I've lost so many women. Women have come in and out of my life. Women have dropped me a lot. As I've mentioned in many, many other videos, I don't have genuine friends. And I come to realize now that I just, I still don't have genuine friends. I still don't have that one woman who's going to remain in my life for a long standpoint and just last with me and help me out of things. Just be a friend to me. I don't, I don't have that. So I come to realize that I still didn't have that. Even upon meeting this married woman and me falling in love with her, or so I thought, I still didn't have a friend. So yeah, it was just kind of, just sad. Me realizing that I still did not have a friend. Just because we couldn't fuck was just crazy to me. Like, why are you going to drop me? I mean, she's good. She has her own friends. She has her own set of friends. You know, where she's at. But me, I don't have anything. I'm sitting there wondering, did she play on that? Well, I don't know. But basically, that's the story of how I fell for a married woman. It was an accident. I didn't plan for that. You know how sometimes your heart can go a certain way, regardless of if it should or not? Your heart is going to go in the direction of what you feel you need. Whatever said person is doing to you at the time, that's what you're going to go for. If you really feel that's what you need, that's what, you're gonna, that's what your heart's going to grasp. So she was doing all the right things to me. She was doing all the right things that I feel that I deserve and I need out of a woman. I look back on it now and I'm like, wow, I can't be that naive anymore. I can't. Because, you know, it just hurts. It hurts. I'm hurting myself. And I'm hurting my husband. I was hurting my husband for a long time. Accidentally. I kept telling him I don't want to hurt him and I, I just don't. But for some reason, I just want to be with her. It was all a fucking illusion. At the end of it all, it was an illusion. And that's what's disappointing to me. And even after that, she tried to come back to me. Um, she tried, like, she texted me one time, a broken heart, the next day. I didn't say anything. I just got rid of it, blocked her number. Um, and then she wrote me in Skype. Not, I don't want to Skype. Uh, Snapchat, not Skype. <sighs> she wrote me something in Snapchat. And I hadn't been, she hadn't been on Snapchat, even when, I, even when we were talking. She's probably trying to just use that as you know, collateral to try to get back to me so she can start the drama wheel all over again. Because, y'all, I don't know if she was playing head games and lying about her wanting to be with me or not. Hell, I don't even know at this point. I don't fucking care. It don't matter. Either way, that was wrong. It was just wrong to get rid of someone just because 
I can't see myself. Um, no, wait. Just because we can't fuck, you don't want to be friends with me. And she was really a good friend, in my opinion. She would have been a really good friend. We had a lot to talk about. We had a lot in common. Um, I was her first ever married friend, you know, married with kids. So we really felt like we connected in, in a lot of ways. But because she's bi and I'm bi and we can't date, <sighs> y'all, it still kind of bugs me in a way that I lost her that way. But you know what? I'm better than that. I'm trying to have my own self-worth and value myself saying, you know what? I don't deserve this. If you're going to drop me because we can't fuck, which is something one, most men do, then too bad. Maybe you're not meant to be in my life. Maybe you, maybe we weren't meant to be friends in the first place. Maybe this is all a fucking booty call. Because who knows if we would have had sex, would we have lasted? I mean, we're both married. I don't think it would have lasted. Fucking gnats, get out of here. I don't think it would have lasted because we're both married. We both have our own lives and our own priorities. Like, how? How? Now, I know some poly couples end up getting together like that to where the, the uh, women date each other or the men date each other or whatever, or they switch, swap, and they stay with just one another. I've heard of that. It happens. But that's not our dynamic. That's not what we want. That's not what we prefer. That's not what we discussed. So, all in all, I shouldn't have been trying to push that hard for what I wanted. I shouldn't have been trying to push that hard to be with her despite what my husband wanted. And he was going to straight up divorce me had I chased after her. And it ain't worth it. Y'all, if you're ever in a situation like that, or you're in a situ similar situation, don't divorce your spouse over some fleeting relationship or, or what you think could be forever or just some, something. Either way, it's fleeting. It's fleeting. You just meet somebody online. People can tell you anything. They can tell you I like you or I love you or I can't see myself without you. People tell you anything until they get you in the bed and then the whole situation changes. Mm -mm. And I come to realize now that it's not just men that are like that. Women these days are like that too. And that's what's freaking sad. It is sad. In the lesbian community, a lot of that shit goes on because women are emotional. And all that they play on all they know how to play with another woman's emotions because women are emotional themselves. And y'all know that happens. That's exactly what happened to me. She played on my emotions. We played on each other's emotions. Got each other all hype. And then kept dropping, flopping. And I was like, oh, okay, can't be with you. Well, I'm sorry I tried, you know. But I didn't promise anything. I wasn't giving her any promises. I didn't have anything to offer her. She was offering me situations or um, opportunities with money and whatnot and living situations. And I was like, oh, this all sounds good. This, this will probably, probably help my family out. But, no, in the end of it, I would have just met up with her, we would have had sex. And there's no telling what would have happened after that. Because we're both married, we're both tied to our men. <sighs> that, that ain't gonna work. Bruh. So, yeah, y'all, that's the story. That's the story. Um, I hope I didn't leave anything out. If I did, then I might update some other video, who knows. But just know, I fell for a married woman, and I had to completely cut off my feelings for her. And I don't regret it. No, I do not regret it. I was literally over it in like a day or so. I was literally over it, like snapped that quickly. Because my husband knows me. I'm strong. I've Y'all know I've been through a lot, as it is. I am stronger than that. One person ain't gonna ever break me down that way. The only person that can ever break me down that way is if he left me. That's it. That's the only person that can ever break me down in that fashion. Because we've been together going on 15 years, married for 12 years. Yeah, it would be 12 years. We've been to all together in total for 15 years, and that's amazing. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not giving that up for anybody. I'm not giving up for a woman. I'm not giving up for anybody, despite what my current feelings may be telling me. My current feelings, or, you know, me just being sexually horny, might be telling me, oh yeah, go after it. It's all good. Mm-mm. It's never all good. Not that si not it's not that simple. As I said in my other video recently, poly is complicated. If you and your spouse or you and your first partner don't have that type of agreement, then you shouldn't go after a different type of agreement just because you came across somebody that's outside of your league. Because truly she was outside of my league. I shouldn't have even been trying to pursue her. 
we're both married. There, there's no way I shouldn't I shouldn't have tried. So yeah, I got my ass hurt trying to try something. Well, hey, it happens. My heart got in it. And that's just what I do. I'm a sucker for love. I fall easily. Hey, that's just me. That's what I do. So yeah, again, I don't regret it. That's the story of how it happened. I really, really, really hope it does not happen again. I'm really going to guard my heart towards if I ever meet another married woman. I am guarding my fucking heart. I am not falling for her. Because <laughs> I can't be with anybody married, point blank, period. Now, unless she's getting ready to date, I mean, uh, getting ready to divorce said person, which, yeah, what are the chances of having? Unless she's getting ready to, d to uh, divorce said person, and I know she's going to divorce them, and I see the damn divorce papers, I am not going to pursue her. Period. Period. With a T. With two T's. <laughs> hey! Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm definitely not going to, um... <laughs> my husband just peeked out. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm definitely... I'm not giving up my marriage for anything fleeting. Um, for some promises that might not even be real. Hey, never again. I'm gonna heart guard my heart better. Y'all you know, learn from the situation. If you're poly and bi or anything of the sort, if you've ever been through anything like this, let me know. Let me know your comments and opinions down below. Give this video a like, please. Let me know what you think about the situation. Um, yeah, just leave me your opinions and all that jazz. It's a beautiful day out here today. Gosh. I do not regret sitting out here. It is beautiful, no clouds. Gorgeous. I just love springtime. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and year. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.